Welcome back everyone! Welcome back to Let's Play Fallout 1.5 Resurrection. We're uh, on our way to set it. Um, in fact, we're actually right next to it. We had uh, this uh, random encounter here. Now let's just wait for daylight, there we go. <sighs> Another greenhorn. You find yourself in the outskirts of a huge metropolis spreading around the crossroads of pre-war motorways. The very first glance at the city reveals that the place is vibrant with life. You hear the clamor of people arguing and Brahmins mooing. Interesting. Let's uh, just de-equip this just in case they give me any crap about it. Well, let's talk to this guy. Let me guess. You just came to see it, uh, set it for the first time and now you got a bunch of nosy questions because you want to find out as much as you can about it. And me, Farmer Peter, should be giving you all the answers. Am I right? Spots on. How do you know? You see, Sedit is quite a big town, big and well-known. You won't find a better place for living far and wide. That's the reason why every now and then someone new shows up with a vision of a better life. Most of these people drop by me first because I'm the first person they bump into. And, of course, they start bothering me with loads of silly questions. I didn't expect you to be any different. Oh, I get it, so can I start asking? I don't like your tone, you better watch out for me, you filthy redneck. <laughs> I get it, so can I start asking? Do I have a choice? <sighs> Go on, then ask. Make it quick, though. I got work to do that won't wait. Tell me about Sedit. Sedit is a caravan town. Everyone's here living off of it. Whether you work directly for one of the three caravan companies or just sell them your merchandise, you're always somehow connected. Everybody is. Caravan trade is the reason why the town's so big and prosperous. I see, I've got another question. Okay, then ask, but be quick about it. My work won't wait. Where can I find work? Try one of the caravan companies. They're always hiring. Otherwise, I'd say you read the bulletin board just a few steps from here in downtown. You could definitely find something interesting there. Thank you. I have another question. Uh, I want to know who's in charge around here. Said it should be governed by the town council, but those big heads are hardly capable of setting up a meeting. That's the reason why almost all of the governing is in the hands of the cops. I'm sure you'll soon find out for yourself. Mm, have you heard any interesting gossip? What well, gossip, damn it! I'm an honest farmer. I'm not interested in what people say. But maybe you have at least know someone who knows any? Ah, uh, you can try with them ghouls. <laughs> I'm sure they're real good at gossiping. There are ghouls in this town? What can you tell me about them? They're a disgrace to this town. That place of theirs is nothing else but one big, ugly mess of trouble. Somebody should finally kick them out of there. I don't understand what the sheriff's still waiting for. And, well, forget it. I don't want to talk about them anymore. As you wish. Show them your talisman. Have you ever seen this sign? I'm afraid I haven't, but you can try asking one of the local merchants. They practically deal with everything, so one of them might have come across that trinket of yours. Thanks. Actually, I have to go. Goodbye. Well, that was interesting. Not sure he's gonna let me in here, but... He will! Wow, he's got a lovely place here. Very nicely decorated. I'll have to ask him about that. What's that on the ground? Flower? Alright. Well, we can sell it. Um, right. Well, quite a nice little farm, actually. This is a big farming town. A man from the caravans. This a man. Nothing here. I just want to check all the houses, or well, if you can call these houses. Who the hell is this? Leave me alone. Why? Something happened? Do you want to talk about it? Leave me alone. I think I made myself very clear. Okay, I'm going. Hmm. Let me save, because some of these uh, can, you know, just attack you all of a sudden. Without a warning, if you rifle through their stuff. What happened to the music there? It was like, I can't be asked anymore. No, he doesn't have anything. Hmm. Not sure what he's all about. Probably a quest or something. Uh, man, the sheriff's wi wife is one well-heeled lady. Let's see what's over here. Is that a... Oh, it's a pew. I thought it was a hatch. It's not bad living in it. At least I think so. Oh, not bad. See, now we're getting somewhere. 
looting some of the stuff so we can sell it later on. Man, you guys live here? This is a dump. Cop. What you looking at? Alright, so this is the... What? Frederick's Dream. Nothing out of the ordinary. At Frederick's Dream, it's more about lives and merchandise, but the way it goes are... Uh, it goes at other companies. Not the way it goes. Hello, my name's Frederick. If you're looking for caravans, you come to the right place. I run this caravan company. What can I do for you? Could you answer a few questions? Gladly. Feel free to ask. Tell me about the caravans. My caravans leave on the 9th and 23rd day of every month. If anyone comes at that time, they can join the caravan as guards. The routes are to Albuquerque and Corath for 400 caps. Hmm, would you answer me another question? Gladly. What can you tell me about Sedid? Sedid is a town of caravans and commerce. People from all over the wasteland come here to do business with practically everything that can cross your mind. If there's something missing, the next caravans can deliver it. That's the whole, uh, that's how the whole town works. Hmm, you wouldn't happen to have a job for me. Oh yes, definitely. You can get a job with the caravan guards. I can use every spare hand. Just come on the 9th or the 23rd day of the month. I pay 400 caps for one trip. Also, I'm currently looking for someone to do a couple of things for me here in Sedit. Okay, th that in-town business sounds alright. You come just in time. You know, I was invited by Sedit Caravan to a private meeting in the official room. Apparently because of some issues from the last meeting that haven't been dealt with. It seems suspicious to me. I don't have a particularly good relationship with the management of said company. So instead of going myself, I'd like to send someone able to handle more demanding situations. You feel up to it? I'd pay you well afterwards. Hmm. I sure do. I'll go there right away. There's no sense putting it off. Yeah, I agree. Something's not right there. The best thing will be to ask directly at said at Caravan. Okay, do as you see fit. Set a caravan or located at the main street. I'll wait here until you get back. Good. Hmm. Well, without armor and such, not really sure about that. We need... We need something first. Um... Who's that guy? A young man. Well, he's not just a man, so he might talk to us. Excuse me, I'm busy. I can't talk to you right now. Hmm. Let's check this place as well. I do have to say, the more I play this, the more I'm enjoying this uh, restoration. I mean, not restoration, resurrection mod. It's quite nice, actually. I wasn't absolutely sure about the writing in the beginning. There's still some odd pieces here and there, but it's actually well written most of the most of the time, and I'm enjoying it. Uh, there's a cop. Right, let's go over here. This is probably a pretty big area. I'm not exactly a fan of the music that plays, never was, but oh well. It's alright. Fuck off. Wait, you're a cop. Police. Whoa, what kind of armor is that? Fuck off. <laughs> what? Can I speak with the sheriff? Of course you couldn't. If there's someone you need speaking to, it's me. I'm the sheriff's deputy. I'm looking for work. We got enough people on the force. Get lost. I don't talk like... Uh, I don't like the way you speak to me. Okay. <laughs> wow, this guy has some interesting armor. Never seen that color before. It must be modded. I mean, it is modded. Of course, we're going to try stealing from all of them. See what they have on them. Anything interesting? Whoa, bloody grenades. Um, hmm. I mean, we don't really have any use for the grenades. Certainly have a use for stimpanks, though. Can I go in here? I guess I can. And I don't think they'll, uh, they'll like me opening those boxes there. Oh. They won't care. Okay. And that one is locked. He didn't say anything about it. However, I have a nasty suspicion that they will attack me when I lockpick it. I guess they won't. Hey, it's more money for me. Nice. And look at this place. If we can get in, I doubt we can, though. Make like a tree and leave. Don't try to steal from us or you'll regret it. Okay. Well, that was pretty nice. It was a fairly nice haul of stolen items. Well, let's check these houses for a moment. There's probably nothing in there. 
But, you know, beggars can't be choosers, and right now we're more of a beggar than anything. There's the Salem's. There's nothing here. Are these guys named? Probably not. Woman, child. It's a cop. Yep. And it's a shop, excuse me. Welcome! You must be new here, and you've come to the right place. Everybody will end up at Salem's one way or the other. I've got everything. What does it mean, everything? Absolutely everything you might need, my friend. Even things you don't yet know you need. I've got supplies, wasteland equipment, things for entertainment, and some weapons, too. Nothing too complicated, yet simple to kill with. I'm sure you don't have the time to spend uh, setting up a complicated rifle with a raider jumps you all. Surely so. And hear this. Here on these shelves behind me are the special goods. Things you won't even see in other places. Each thing a unique, one-of-a-kind piece. Fine, fine, show me what you've got. Oh. And we'll look at the special goods afterwards. Whoa, nice. Let's see how much these things are. <sighs> oh, bloody hell, even more expensive. Yep, yep, yep. It's not gonna work so easily. I might... And there's the doctor's bag. I might um, steal stuff from him. And uh, he won't give me good prices for these things either. But, meh. Actually, I'll keep the flower. It just, I don't know. Seems interesting. Should probably keep the cigarettes as well. Never know when you might need them. Uh, not gonna use the Magnum's Pro. I'll keep it for now. Here's the Mentas. That's actually quite... Oh, uh... well, this stuff is still in there. Here, you can have all this stuff. Well, damn it, now I can't get back. <laughs> right, um... I'd rather just give him give me the money, though. Because uh, swapping it for items, not very good. Oh, you can't car... I can't carry that much? What? But he's giving... Oh, you can't carry... Wait, what? What's going on? Is it because it's in the bag? It doesn't make any sense. See, this is why I don't like bags in the Fallout 1 and 2. It doesn't make... Okay, let's... Let's drop it. There. Yes, it's on the ground now. But at least it'll be out of the bag. There. Now I can sell it all. Show me what you've got. So now I can give him this stuff. Give me hats. Some of the jerky. This, 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 this. Everything that weighs. And crowbar as well, but... I got two lighters. Wow. Quite expensive, actually. The rope is actually very heavy, but... And these things as well. You know what? Have them. Have at it. 563. There you go. Thank you very much. Alright, and let's see the special items. Welcome! Everybody keeps coming back to Salem's shop. It's because of the amazing range of goods I offer. You wouldn't believe it, but you're my absolutely most favorite customer. What will it be today? see the special goods. You're looking at the shelf with what's supposed to be special goods. This is what you see. A picture of some kind, a doll, a magazine, a rubber doll, a very familiar looking talisman. Hmm. What's on that picture? Salem hands you a framed picture of a man whose face has faded away long ago. There's some text beneath the picture saying L. The rest is gone. That's the great L. He must have been uh, a holy man of some kind. I bet the picture brings luck to its owner. Great thing for a 50, eh? Sure it is. What else have you got? Show me the doll. Salem hands you a small rag doll with a red nose. The words Mr. Nixon are written on his t-shirt. Great innocent thing for kids to play with. Every kid will surely be glad to have it for just a hundred caps. What's so interesting about that magazine? Very carefully and slowly, as if it could fall apart any minute, Salem gives you the Cat's Paw magazine. Very spicy reading, if you know what I mean. <laughs> <laughs> if you, if I were you, I'd wipe my ass with a cactus rather than lose this. Great price of 60 caps. What else? An inflatable doll? Salem shows you the inflatable doll with a wide smile. Traveler's best friend. She doesn't speak and is always willing. 
And this one doesn't even leak. True, she's got a few unplanned holes, but they've all been properly sealed. <laughs> 300 caps, just because it's you. Hmm, that talisman looks exactly like... Can I have a closer look at it? When you take Salem's talisman in your hand, you find out it is the same as the one you'd had when you woke up in the cave. The talisman is your best clue to your forgotten life. A finely crafted talisman. It may possess magical powers. Who knows? It's worth trying for a mere 10 caps. Deal. Hmm, so now I've got two of these. <laughs> okay. Probably no point in that, but... Hmm. Interesting. Well, he's only got that. A bit disappointing, but uh, I'll take it anyway. Give me that and give me the money. Thank you. So, I really need some armor and such. Whoa, they got laser fans and everything. What's in this place? It looks a little less destroyed than the others. Yeah, it is. How can I help? What do you... I have a few questions. So tuck them up your ass. I ain't got the time to chat to every stranger that goes past my shop. You either buy something or get out. What do you've got? It's got this pretty much the same stuff and the same prices. Brilliant. Hmm. Look at how much these are. <laughs> Ridiculous. I ain't paying you for that. Crazy. Get out of there. I'm almost tempted to sell this because it's 20 pounds or something, I think. It's it's really heavy. Uh, let's see. 10 pounds, okay. But of course, we can carry very little. How can I help? Oh, you can't. <laughs> I'm assuming he won't let me back here. Yes, he will. Nothing there. Brilliant. Alright. So let's go check up here. This is what I wanted to check the notice board. See if uh, there's anything here. <clears throat> Any jobs or something. You see a notice board full of paper sheets pinned to uh, it or attached in most resourceful ways. They invite you to various bars or offer work. Read the largest paper. Sedit Caravans. The first caravan company of Sedit. Our offices and bar are located to the south of downtown at the end of Main Street. Visit our establishment. We offer quality drinks, quiet atmosphere, and top lady companions. We also offer jobs for caravan guards. We require reliability and one's own weapons. Ask for Kevin. Let's read the paper with the largest handwriting. The best caravan company of Hub, the Crimson Caravan, is hiring caravan guards. Wild action and good money guaranteed. You'll find us to the east of downtown in Little Hub. Uh, that looks least noticeable. Frederick's Dream Company, located in Short Lane, recruits competent people for caravan guarding. The one that says something about guns. Pistols, machine guns, rifles, shotguns, and all kinds of ammunition. Weapon shop on Main Street. Uh, the paper with a gaudy orange text. Spectacular range of goods, not just for the adventure. Oh yeah, that's the guy. And unique valuable items on top of that. All of this can be found at Salem's shop across the street opposite the Sheriff's Villa. Oh, that's the Sheriff's Villa, jeez. Uh, the small piece of paper written in clumsy letters. You'll find, swear to God, the che cheapest booze and set it, it only in Crater on Main Street. <laughs> Read the dirty and torn piece of paper. Falcon's Flight, food, drinks, roar. The rest of the paper is torn and right under it on the wood is in clumsy writing, stinking ghouls. <laughs> right, let's, should we leave or should we leave? I'm not sure, I'll take that one. Anyway. Thank you very much for watching. I hope you're enjoying this. As always, check out my Patreon if you want to see more stuff. And I'll see you next time in the next part. Bye-bye.